I met Roger through Patrick Leonard. He had heard my Geffen solo release. They were looking for somebody to do the David Gilmour bits uh, on tour. I got a call from Patrick asking me if I could make a demo of Comfortably Numb and Money. A pretty uh, crazy task. As I was listening to Comfortably Numb, thinking about how to make a demo of that, the system that I had, it had a karaoke button on it, and uh, I pushed that not knowing what it was, and I didn't realize that it just took the track and you know put it out of phase. So the lead vocal and the lead guitar went away, but you kept the production there. You kept the drums and the, everything else was intact. I went in the studio and asked an engineer friend of mine if we could do the same thing, and we did. So it was basically Pink Floyd's track with me doing karaoke over it. So I sent that in, and I guess uh, Roger felt that I nailed the, the demo. And the next thing I knew, I was on a flight to rehearsals for uh, a set with uh, Roger Waters. I think what I took away from working with Roger Waters and that whole experience was how commanding he was and what an architect he was. I think it really opened me up to all possibilities of what your music can be.